Hello, my name is Owen, and today I'll be going over with you my ideal reading conditions. Uh, the reason I want to make this video is because I've been a little bit of a reading slump recently. Like the last two weeks or so, I've read barely anything at all, and it's very disappointing to me because I like to make it a daily routine because it's something that I love to do. It's like my favorite hobby, and I don't really know what's going on, it, whether or not I'm just like burnt out of reading somehow, or like I've just been too busy. Uh, I don't know. But it made me think about what is like my ideal reading conditions in hopes that like if I give myself what I like the best, I can get into a rhythm again, which I really, really want to do. Um, so I have a variety of criteria here that I'm going to go through and you guys will see as you go along. And the other reason I want to make this video is because I know that these criteria are completely unique for every single reader. So I'm also curious to see what you guys have for your ideal reading conditions and in these specific topics that I'm going to bring up. Because I'm curious, and I, and I wanted to hear you guys fight uh, for what you like, because maybe if I don't like something, it's because I haven't tried it enough. Uh, that is absolutely probably the case for some of these things, especially with this first criteria in terms of format of books. Now, I am a purist. My ideal reading conditions is if I have a book, specifically a hardcover book, because it's so high quality, it makes you feel fancy, it makes you feel like you're more intelligent when the book is hardcover, in my opinion. However, we all know hardcover books, don't, they don't come cheap. I'm pretty sure uh, Prince Harry's new book, Spare, is $40 in some places, as if, as if royalty didn't give him enough riches, right? Oh, no, but he left the royals. He has to make his money somewhere. He's a hardworking folk like the rest of us. They get $40 at the store. Anyway, but I love hardcover books, and I wish that they just didn't, like, like I don't know, what are the pages lined with gold, Prince Harry? God, I'm never going to read your book. For that reason, maybe maybe an ebook eventually, or maybe an audio book. But I've heard some weird snippets, and I don't know if they're AI generated or if they're actually what he wrote. But they're quite disturbing. However, hardcover is my ideal, but I tend to read more paperback just because of the money thing. But also, l listen, I know this is a preference video, but I kind of prefer like multiple things. Ever since I got my Kindle, which I did a review on, I kind of like ebooks again because. No, nothing's better than free, and, and the Libby app gives me free ebooks all the time. Uh, but also, like previously, like when I was reading like my old Kindle and like a tablet, it just felt like I wasn't reading because I was like looking at like a bright like the Blu-ray shooting through my eyeballs and like deteriorating my brain cells probably. But like my my Kindle Paperwhite, it's just like it's just reading paper, and then like I don't have to carry heavy books around. Cause that's another thing about physical books. I love them; they're heavy, right? And especially if I'm reading like a thick chonker, like it's this big. I can't fit that like in my coat pocket like I can my Kindle and like like if I'm carrying a backpack around like it's like a big like brick in my backpack. So I still prefer physical, but I'm coming around to ebooks, especially because I love my paper white. Shameless plug. Audiobooks, I've only ever listened to one audiobook. I hear great things. I love podcasts, long drives. I'm sure audiobooks would be a great like fit into that. However, I just feel like my attention span is too like you know what I mean? So like I would like just see something and like be thinking about that and I'd be like, wait, what did they just say? It would really bother me. So that's why I haven't like dove in to audiobooks. And maybe I should. Maybe cause I, I'm interested to try it and I feel like I could consume a lot more stories that way. I just don't think that my brain is wired. Cause I like to read every single word and like, you know, like I feel like I wouldn't be able to take it in as easily if I was listening to audiobooks. But people who love audiobooks, you got you gotta give me a sh like you got to speak me through the process because I'm willing, I'm willing to try it. I just need to hear some arguments as to why I would enjoy it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, moving on to the next thing, we got uh, like the environment around you. I'm not talking about like, oh, do you like to be at the beach? Because like, where am I going to find a beach? And even if I did live by a beach, like I'm not going to be there all the time. I'm talking like some people like to sit in a coffee shop or like a crowded like library where there's like a little bit or like a bookstore with like a little bit of chatter. Like, obviously not, like, super loud, but, like, or, like, in a park. You know what I mean? I prefer, personally, to be alone. I need, in my ideal reading visions, I need absolute silence. Like, please leave me alone. I need to be alone with my book. Which also makes it harder for me to, maybe that's why I'm in slump, because I haven't been, like, able to, like, get a lot of quiet. But I just prefer, where, like, it's just, like, more peaceful that way. And, like, in a park... And there's like a little bit of background chatter. It doesn't really bother me that much. But like if someone's like sitting next to me and they're like talking on the phone, I'm like, 
it's the only thing I can think about is like what they're saying. Not that it's annoying, but I just can't focus on the book at the same time. So like coffee shop vibes. If I'm in like a crowded space like that or like a bookstore, I have to be listening to music, which is like another preference thing. Cause I know that some people listen to music like when they're reading like all the time and some people cannot have music playing. Me, I could listen to music while I'm reading if it's classical music, which is like a classic, obviously, or if it's like music like that I'm like intimately familiar with, like the lyrics are so ingrained into like my brain that I don't like register them or they don't like stand out to me. And it has to be like, like kind of like peaceful music, right? I'm a big like folk, folk music fan. So that gels really well with reading in general. And Fleet Foxes is my favorite band. So like I can like throw on their, discog their discog discography when I'm reading and like the lyrics won't bother me. But I know that's not the case for some people. Uh, but classical music is always a go-to, except sometimes you get like, I don't, I'm not good enough, at, good enough at listening to classical music. I don't know if that's a, that's a thing. Where like, sometimes like I'll be listening to a song, I'm like, oh, so, dun, 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 and it goes, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, whoa, hey, wasn't ready for that one, okay? Didn't ask for the, for the, for the beat change, I guess. Mozart, calm down, okay? I'm trying to read here. So I prefer not to listen to music, but if I'm in a crowded space, I would rather have music, classical music, rather than like people chatting and like sudden noises and, the stimulus, it's too much. But music, if I'm in a crowded space where I can't get my quiet alone time. And speaking of my quiet alone time, time of day reading preferences, I think it's because I like to be like alone and isolated. As soon as I wake up with a cup of coffee, the morning, the sun's still rising a little bit, mm, like super early, like ridiculously early in the morning, like I don't need to be anywhere for like three hours, but I'm just like awake. Those are prime reading hours and also the other extreme, like right before I'm going to bed, I like to read until like my eyes are like, and then I'm like, okay, that's when I need to stop because I'm like not reading anymore. I'm just like looking at words and falling asleep. There's something peaceful about it. And that's another thing that I like about the Kindle is before, like I couldn't read eBooks before I went to bed because just like, again, shooting that blue light in my eyes and I'd just be like wired for like another hour and never fall asleep. But like with the Kindle, like dynamic lighting, I, I get, it feels like paper. And also I don't have to have a little lamp on because it is lit up. So I kind of like that as well, but reading until I fall asleep is another like peaceful, like calming way to end the day. And I really enjoy that. So that's that. Uh, the other thing is um, types of books. This is like the last main thing I like to read. Obviously I'm a fantasy lover. So like I read a lot of fantasy books. However, I like other genres. I'm not like a fantasy, like only read fantasy. Cause I think I get sick of fantasy if I read it like purely. So I need to throw in some other genres there to like switch up my brain. Uh, in general, probably because I really like fantasy, I prefer stupidly long books, like stupidly long, like, like 700 is like on the shorter end of these types of books. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking like thousand page chonkers just because like, I like the idea and like the process of like, really like, this is going to be my life, my imaginative life for a month or two months of just absorbing this specific brick of a world and slowly getting through it. So I prefer long books in general. However, I've started to learn something about myself, which I think is also contributing to my like reading slump. Long books and eBooks, something about the two of them combined really like hit is not agreeing. Okay. So I'm reading, um, What's the book? I forget the book. It's the last Game of Thrones book. What's it called? A Dance with Dragons. That's what it's called. Anyway, I'm reading it. I've been reading it for multiple months, 1100 pages long. And I've read all the Game of Thrones like physical. Otherwise, this is the only way I've read ebook wise. And it's taking me forever to get through it. I'm still like engaged with the story for the most part. I do think it's a little bit boring, more boring than the rest. And I still love this world, obviously. But for some reason, the fact that like, I can't physically see like where I am progress. I only see like a little percentage. It's really messing with me. And I think that's like a contributing factor where it's like, I'm not reading this book as fast as I normally would if it was paperback because it's ebook. So I think something about like me not being able to physically see where I'm at in like a book. Maybe I prefer shorter books if they're ebook. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Scientists, reach out, write a paper about my brain. You'd be interesting what you'd find. Anyway, 
that's all I got. Those are my preferences. So preferably hardcover physical. All right. Physical in general, eBooks, they're on your up, up and up. Uh, I leave me alone, leave me alone in general, but when I'm reading, uh, music only if I can't be left alone early morning, late at night and types of books. Give me a long one. Give me a long one. Throw me in, throw me with the wolves. Let me dance with them for a month. But I'm really interested to see what you guys got because I know there's people for everything I said, the exact opposite, opposite thought. And I wouldn't hear your combo for each one because we're all unique, right? So let's have fun with that. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, be sure to like. If you, if you like this video, like the video. And be sure to subscribe because I got more stuff coming. And I'm getting out of this slump so I got some book reviews coming up because I'm, I'm towards the end of Game of Thrones. I'm towards the end. That review's coming out if you're interested in that. And I'm also reading some other stuff this month. I'm really excited about. So stick around. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.